Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to build a basic blog with your Divi theme. Really easy to do and a great thing to do with WordPress. WordPress was really invented for bloggers. We'll show you how to use a simple blog today and build it and style it how you want with Divi. So let's get started. I'm going to go up to new up here and hit post. And this is going to take us to this page right here, which is a normal looking add a page sort of thing, but it's actually a post. And we'll be coming back to this in a minute to add some keywords, default images, and decide whether we want a sidebar or not. But I'm going to start just as it is for the moment. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put in a title. For me, actually, that's a little bit long. Let's just get rid of that. Great. I'm going to go ahead and use the Divi Builder. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. And this is what it pops in. By default, it's going to put a title up there and I'll show you how to hide that in a minute. I want to put my own title in. So to do that, I'm going to put a row with a single column. Inside, I'm going to use a heading module. Here we go. And let's put my heading in there. That's one way of doing it. I'm actually going to do this a different way. I'm going to use dynamic content. So it'll automatically pull the name of the article in here. So every text block has a little disk looking icon on the right hand side. If we click on it, it'll give us the options to add some dynamic data. And this, what this does is add from your database. I'm going to put post archive title and let's put it in there. As you can see, it's the same as the above. But like I said, I'm going to get rid of that in a little while. This way, you can style it up really however you want. Let's just make it a bit more interesting. I've been using that default blue. And we'll merge an image behind there, perhaps. I'm going over to image here. Add background image. And we've done a whole video on backgrounds. You can do some amazing things with it. Check out our Divi for Beginners playlist. You'll find the link below this video with all these beginners videos in it. Okay, and I'm going to merge that with a blue by simply rolling down and hitting the multiply button. That's going to make this text, once I change color, a lot easier to read. Easiest way to get there to change the color is hit the little paintbrush associated with it. Take you straight to the design for that heading. At the moment, it's an H1. Well, it's a page title, so I'm happy for it to be an H1. If it was further down that page, you might want to make it an H2 or a 3. You can change the font to anything you want here. And by default, Divi's got a crazy amount of fonts. I'm going to leave mine on the default for the moment. As you may have noticed, to audition a font, just roll over it. It'll give you an example of that particular font. I'm going to have mine perhaps semi-bold. Make it a little thicker. I want it white in color so we can see it nicely on that background. I'm going to pop it in the middle. Great. Well, let's give it a little more space all around so we can see it a little bit better and see that nice background. Obviously, you can change the text size. You can give it a little bit more space just by using a line height if you want to, which will give it more space between the lines of text. But if you want to go ahead and get some more space, we can close up a little heading text there, go into spacing. And we can add pod padding. Padding is a distance from the outside of the module to the content. Margin is from the outside of the content all around, up, down, left, right. I'll show you a few things you can do with that in a moment. Let's perhaps try 30 pixels on the top. That's okay. And I'll do similar for the bottom. We've got more of a hint of the background in there. Well, I'm happy with that title now. I think personally for me, I'd like to put a little image in next and then perhaps the article. Obviously, the design of your blog is entirely up to you. You really go to town with Divi too. So I'm going to add a new module underneath this. I'm going to use a simple image module. And I'll stick with the image we had just now. Let's use that one again. And we'll use this for the default image. While we're here, actually, all images should have alt text in there. Alt text is really for people with bad eyesight that use screen readers. It will tell them what that image is. So call it what you will. A lot of people actually use that for keywords and put keywords in there. Whether or not that works nowadays, Google's always changing. I don't know. That's entirely up to you. 
You can put a caption and description in if you want to. I'm happy for it to be just like that. Great, well, we've got a little image in there. Crazy number pops up when I hover over it. All images, that's actually the name of this crazy image. It was generated with AI. If you want to get rid of that crazy title or change it to something more pertinent for you, go to Advanced tab, down to Attributes. You can either delete it or put in something that makes sense. And then when you hover over it, there'll be nothing there. Great, well, I'm happy with that. Next up, we'll put the actual article itself. I'm going to add a new row for that little green button to add a new row. And obviously you can add as many columns or whatever you want to do for yours. I'm going to stick with a single column. And for this, I'm going to use a simple text module. These are in alphabetical order. You'll find it down the bottom there. There it is. I'm just going to undock this from the left-hand side there. I've got an article over here. There it is, it's popped it in there. We've got a WYSIWYG text section here, so you can bold things, italicize, make bullet lists, make things into titles if you want to. And if you want to, you can add media also. I'm happy for it to be like that. I'm just gonna go down and bold out these titles, I believe. I'll pause this and just do the rest. Great, well, we're all done then. I'm gonna save that. I actually wrote this article. Well, I didn't write this article. I actually generated this article over at ChatGBT, which is great. I would recommend, though, that you write your own articles and perhaps put it over ChatGBT or something like that to check it or perhaps add a few keywords to it or whatever you want. But it's a good idea you write your own articles on something that you're interested in. But that's entirely up to you. OK, so we've got a really basic blog post there. And at the bottom, we've got this little comment field, which is general to WordPress. And you can turn that off by disabling comments if you want to. So let's save this and we'll take a look. I'll hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. Okay, well there it is. And to me that looks pretty dreadful. I mean, what we've done is okay. We've got two titles up there. You've got a boring sidebar right here, which really doesn't do much to enhance this at all. So we've got some really important stuff coming up now. What we can do is edit this page to look more like we want it. To do that, go up here. Don't enable the Visual Builder this time. Go to Edit Post. And as you can see, it's taken us back to this page we started with. If we roll down to the bottom, we've got some settings here which are really important. Yours may be closed up like that. If it is Divi page settings, just hit the little chevron to open it. You can choose whether you want a right sidebar, left sidebar, no sidebar or full width. Let's just go for no sidebar. You can cho choose whether to turn your dot navigation on or off. I'm going to leave that off at the moment. It doesn't show it at the top. That's fine. Don't want to hide the navigation before scroll. And post title, I want to hide that because we had two on our post. I only want the one that I created, so we're going to hide that. Now, if we go back up, there's a discussion tab. You can decide whether you want to allow comments and ping backs and track backs. If you don't, just uncheck those and you won't have that comment field down below. Now below that, we've got an excerpt and that's what's going to show up in the sort of Google search. And also when we create the actual blog page itself, which I'll be doing in another video. So you can put a little excerpt in there. Probably doesn't want to be more than about 150 char characters or so. Next up, we've got the featured image. And that's really important. That's what's going to show up when we build the actual blog page itself. Let's stick with that image we've been using there. And you can replace it or remove it at any time. Next up, we've got add new tags. And these are SEO keywords and things like that. Now, according to an article I just read, it's okay to use ChatGPT for finding keywords. Now, there's going to be a big discussion about that comment. But again, that's entirely up to you. It's a good idea to do research on your keywords. It really is. But the AI is doing a pretty good job. Now, categories. I'm going to go into this a little bit deeper when we create our blog post page. If you want to add a new category, you can do so here. I'm going to call mine Future Tech. 
put on a parent category. That way we can segregate our blogs into different blog modules and have different types of posts in different places. And there it is, it's got our future text right there. I don't want it in the uncategorized. Author, that's the author name, D24 is what this site happens to be called. If you've got more authors there, you can just select which one you want. If you've got many blog posts, you can stick it to the top. So this article is there all the time. There's a URL for it. And everything else there, I'm going to leave just as it is. So when you're happy, you can either save draft or publish a save draft. Once saved, we can preview it. I want to preview it on desktop. And there we have it right there. We've lost the sidebar. It looks a lot better. Too much space at the top. I'll show you how to get rid of that with a bit of negative margin in a minute. Now we've got our nice little image. Of course, you can link that image or have it pop out into a light box if you want to. And there's our little article. We've allowed comments on there so people could comment. Anybody that's wondering why that's orange. It's the way I've got it set up in my default theme customizer. And you can find that video down below also in the Divi for Beginners playlist. Great. Well, just to finish off, I want to pull this up a little bit. So it's just a little bit closer to the top of the page here. Had we selected a full width page, we would have had this full width, but I think that's going to work for me. So let's quickly enable the visual builder. We're almost done. Okay, first thing I'm actually going to do is our little heading module right here. I'm going to save it to our library. So I'm going to go into the module. Little icon just to the left of the trash can. Click on it, we'll give it a name. And I've got a blog heading. Because we've used dynamic content, let's just say that to the library. We can pop this in at the top of every post by adding it from the library. To add from the library, just hit the little plus there, add from the library, blog heading right there. I'll cancel that, we've already got ours in there. But that way you can use it on every blog post post and it'll come up with the title automatically. Okay, well, let's get this a little closer to the top here. First thing I think I want to do is remove any padding from the section, the blue tab right here. I'm going to go into design and spacing. Padding at the top, I want it to be zero. Okay, that's lifted it up a bit, which is great. Now I actually want to pull this up by, I don't know, 60 pixels or so. So it's closer to the top there. Don't want quite such a gap there. We can actually do that with margin. So if I increment down with a little arrow, I've got a negative one. If I turn that one into perhaps, we'll try 60. You see it's pulled it up by 60 pixels. That is actually not too bad if you want it sitting on the top. Is it going to be 70? Not quite enough. We can increment up by incrementing down as it's a negative value. If you want it to sit right on the bar itself, you can do so by doing that. Let's just make sure that's going to work too on tablet and mobile. Little purple button right there. Left hand side, we're on desktop. Let's flip it to tablet. That's okay. We could take that text down if you wanted to on tablet so it fits in there, but I'm not too worried about that. And mobile. Again, we probably want to take that text down a bit on the mobile. In fact, let's do that. So we can go from our section. We'll go straight into there. Have a look at our video on building mobile first with Divi. Tells you how to change all these settings. Once we're in there, we can hit the little paintbrush. Go down to text heading, text size. Hit the little icon. When you roll over, you'll see those icons come up. That's common to every module. Little mobile phone. Make sure we're on mobile version. We can change that. Let's try, try 15 pixels, maybe. Whatever works for you. And we can take that line height down if those are the wrong height. Remember to get your little mobile up. Make sure you're on mobile there. Take the line height down. Now we've done that, we could probably take that up to maybe 18 pixels. But of course, that's entirely up to you. Everything else is working fine there on mobile. Again, you could do it differently on tablet if you want to. You know how to do that now, so I'll skip over it. If you wanted to bring that line height down or that text. You could actually 
tighten that up a little bit if you wanted to, but that's not too bad. So I think we're good to go. Let's flip back to desktop. So we've created our first blog here. Let's go ahead and hit the publish button. We'll exit the visual builder. And there we have it. We're going to show you a lot more about blogs. I'll show you how to build a whole blog page and have these stacked on it. And also how you can use the theme builder to really customize these and make your posts really stand out. So there you go, guys. There's how to create your first blog post with a Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a little video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.